Hello there, welcome to your election headlines. I'm Clive Myrie. Sakir Starmer has rejected the need for closer ties with the European Union to boost economic growth. In an interview with the BBC, he said Labour would not take Britain back into membership of the EU, the single market or the customs union. I do think we can do better than the botch deal that we got under Boris Johnson. I think every business thinks that. So if there are businesses that are watching this, yes, I hear what you say about the barriers to trade and we are going to do something about that. But the second thing, and I think this is important, is if you look at the problems for growth over the last 14 years, um, they were there or many of them were there before Brexit. So the idea that the sort of single silver bullet is simply the relationship with the okay. EU is not something but, I accept. But... Rishi Sunak says a vote for Reform UK would give Labour a blank cheque after the election. The Prime Minister is attending the G7 summit in Italy. He was responding to an opinion poll that put Nigel Farage's Reform UK ahead of the Tories for the first time in just one poll. Mr Farage reckons his party could win as many as six million votes in the election. Dems have been focusing on the cost of food, with the deputy leader, Daisy Cooper, visiting a farm in Hertfordshire. The Lib Dems are promising a £1 billion boost to British farmers to help with rising costs. The party says food prices have gone up 30% since the start of the last parliament. The SNP leader, John Swinney, joined Scotland fans for tonight's opening Euro 2024 game against Germany. He's campaigning to ensure all of Scotland's matches are shown free on terrestrial TV, including qualifiers. And if you want to see how the parties are faring in the polls, there's a dedicated tracker on our website. Just head over to bbc.co.uk slash poll tracker for all you need to know. And those are your election headlines on Friday, June the 14th.